the bridge that we have now, the, what we call the historic bridge, is actually the third attempt at building a bridge across the Canadian River. And Canadians' progress was really held up by, hard as it is to imagine now, by this raging river. Every time it rained, you know, it would flood, it would wash things away. It was also considered one of the most dangerous crossings anywhere because your horse or your wagons and all of your possessions would end up in the quicksand and go down. So they built a, a bridge in 1890, it washed away. They built another bridge in 1893. And finally, in 1916, they took the most modern technology and they built the longest pin suspension bridge that still exists in the United States. And it was the longest structure in Texas at the time it was built in 1916. They had to lengthen it in 1920 because the river got wider again. And it remained the only way across the Canadian River until in the 1950s. And we've seen pictures of combines and school buses meeting on that bridge, and it didn't work. And so what they did is they widened that same bridge, and it remained the bridge here until sometime in the 60s and 70s. After they built the modern bridge, as we call it, that bridge was pretty much abandoned for many years, but in 2000, one of the most successful projects we've ever done in Canadian was rebuilding the wagon bridge. So all of the suspension, all the steel, all the concrete, everything was still there, and they put a new wooden floor on the bridge. I make that sound really easy. It took a couple of years and a whole lot of work. Local people thought we were crazy. Um, they really wondered what the commissioners would invest in this for, how anybody would ever use this bridge. It's been 20 years and you can go out there any evening, any morning, all time, and there are always people walking the bridge. So it's a great um, thing for us, as well as reminding us of our history.